I think of myself as extremely lucky because I was born into a very, very rich legacy of uh, stone carving in this, in this very uh, old tradition. My inspiration for, for the work that I do now is truly uh, based on this, this huge amount of, of work that's come before me. There's a connection that people have with a handmade object. And then when you see something that, that's, that's, that's beautifully done and done to such precision, but then you see very, very subtle, subtle bits of, of inconsistency, in, which is the humanity and the artistic endeavor, obvious in this, in this culmination of effort. That, that just speaks volumes to me. I'm currently working on the National Martin Luther King Memorial in Washington, D.C. When it comes to, to feeling uh, you know, satisfied reviewing your work, uh, especially on a large memorial like the Martin Luther King Memorial, uh, obviously the evidence of, of, of the product, these inscriptions that everyone will be reading and everyone will be viewing, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very satisfying. Receiving the MacArthur Fellowship is, is sort of one of the greatest affirmations one could receive. You know, I, I toil on year after year doing what I do, and it's so labor-intensive, and it's so complicated, and it's such a rarefied little world of, of letter form design, calligraphy, and carving of lettering in stone that so many people don't really understand what I'm up to and oftentimes say, isn't there an easier way you can do this? And I always say, no, this is the only way to do this. And then to be recognized by, uh, <laughs> by having received the, the, the fellowship is just, it's just amazing. It's, it's, it's make, it makes me feel as though, well, everything I've done is certainly on the right track. <laughs> so I'm really, really uh, bowled over by it. And it's going to take me weeks to process. So I'm, I'm more than honored.